Hey everyone, doing an update video because I've been back shopping at the uh, charity store, JB Hi-Fi, and a couple of pawn shops, so I um, wanted to show you what I picked up. Uh, that big charity store that had that DVD sale, um, apparently it wasn't a sale, apparently that's just how much they're charging for DVDs now, so that's super cool. Um, I happened to go there on a day they had a big sale on, so I just assumed it was part of it. But um, it's still going on, so yeah, that's apparently how much they're charging now. Disclaimer, I am shooting during the day, so if you hear any background noises, that's why. So what I want to show you first is a bunch of um, multiple movie sets that I've picked up. Uh, I've started picking up more and more of these because they're, they're still a dollar, even though there's more than one movie in them. And um, some of them are actually pretty good. Um, there's this one here, which has three films in there. So, um... Yeah, haven't gotten into that one yet, but um, I looked up on Google. It's hard to find some information on some of these films on Google. You have to be very specific, like searching for a specific actor to find the film. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> kind of hard to find information. Here's another one. Um, I actually quite like getting these now because um, some of the films that are in there, uh, they're not films that you see. You just don't see these, uh, you know, at places like JB Hi-Fi and stuff like that. Well, I don't see them, so, um, yeah, they, they, they look like, um, kind of budget kind of movies, like made-for-TV style, um, but I haven't watched them, so I don't know. Um, but like I said in a previous video, um, one that I bought that was like a, it looked a bit crappy, a bit cheesy, and it was cheesy, but it wasn't crappy, it was a really good film, so that's why I buy these now. Um, this one here was actually sealed when I got it. Um, haven't watched this one yet, but it had uh, Denny DeVito. Is that his name? Yeah, Denny DeVito. Um, it's the van. So um, I picked this one up just because it had him in there, and I thought... Um, it's interesting. It, it intrigued me. Um, if you want to have a look. I don't know how well my camera picks up the, uh, the writing, so I apologize if you can't see that. Um, this one here, um, I literally just picked this one up because it has a film in it called Zulu down here. And, um, yeah, that <laughs> that is the crappiest picture quality out of every movie on here. Most of the films are like um, 4.3 aspect ratio and look half decent. Except for Zulu, that is still the 16 by 9 but it's, it's kind of like uh, letterboxed on four sides. It's like shrunk down. And um, zooming it up just makes it unwatchable, so um, you have to keep it like that, which is also unwatchable, so um, yeah. But um, for a dollar, uh, for 16 films, I haven't been through the other ones, I mean I flicked through them, but um, I haven't looked at what they're all about, so there could be some pretty good ones on there. But for a dollar, that's some um, good entertainment right there. Um, one thing that kind of um, surprised me was, I was looking for a brand name on this, and I couldn't find any branding on here, so I don't know who released it. Next is a bunch of Ricky Gervais uh, DVDs that I picked up. Um, these were all from the same charity store. Uh, super, super lucky. I got Life's Too Short with Warwick Davis. Um, that is a really cool uh, mini series if you haven't seen it. Um, it's sad to hear that there wasn't, there isn't going to be a number two because apparently um, other people took offense to it. I mean, I, I honestly am sick of that happening. You got other people being offended. Like, th this is a. Uh, a mini-series now, um, about, uh, you know, a dwarf, apparently that's what they like to be called, um, and you got people who aren't dwarves, um, getting offended by it. That's, that's the world we live in now, they got the second series canned, so, um, that disappointed me, but a really good, good, um, TV show if you ha TV show if you haven't seen it. Um, first and second season of Extras, uh, starring Ricky Gervais, um, this is a TV show about um, Ricky Gervais's character, who basically is an extra, um, and he's trying to get, like, voice work, and, um, he mingles with some really, really big actors in this, and it's, it's super funny. If you haven't seen this series, a really great, um, TV show. Uh, that's why I bought all of these, because Ricky Gervais, um, I just love his stuff. We have season one of Derek. Um, this stars, uh, Ricky Gervais and Carl Pilkington. Um, if you've seen previous videos, I am a big fan of Carl Pilkington. I have a bunch of his um, Blu-rays and books and everything over there because he's just the, the most funny guy that doesn't try to be funny. He just he just happens to be funny um, most of the time. So um, Carl is the uh, the bald one on the back here. They intentionally did this uh, haircut to make him look um, funny, basically, and it works. 
So, um, yeah, really funny um, series there. Um, hope to get series two at some point. And finally, we have The British Office. I found the first and second season, as well as the Christmas special. So um, that was a good find. Really super happy to, to get my hands on those. Uh, next, we have an umbrella title, um, A Boy Named Charlie Brown. Um, haven't, uh, have I opened this one? No, I haven't. It's tape shut. But um, yeah, picked this one up just because it was an umbrella title and I've had uh, good experiences with this brand and uh, haven't watched Charlie Brown in years. Like, I didn't even watch it when I was little. Um, so uh, yeah, I picked that up because it was a dollar and uh, I'm curious to see what it's all about. We have uh, season 14 of The Family Guy. Uh, all the TV shows and everything, these were all a dollar by the way, so some really good deals. So season 14. They also had season 10. I'm going to take some B-roll of my little set back there. You can see the vault set. Um, I found season 10 and I put it in there because um, I've been searching for that for a while. You can get it at JB Hi-Fi and everything, but I just enjoy the hunt, you know, just hunting for these things is, is quite fun. Um, can be frustrating at some points when you find uh, season 10, but it's an empty case because someone stole the DVDs out of it. Um, if you steal from a charity store, like, who raised you? Like, seriously. But, um, yeah, finally got it, and season 14 as well. Also got um, volume 3 and season 1 of American Dad. Um, this one's a lenticular case. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's a lenticular case. Not sure what the difference between Volume 3 and Season 1 is, um, whether Volume 3 is just another name for Season 3. I don't know, but um, yeah, pick those up. The Complete Animated Series of Daria. Um, this one here, uh, it came with a, um, a broken case, so I'm going to have to hunt down a case for it. Um, but, uh, yeah, all the discs are in there, so I'd rather it be a broken case and have all the discs. Because I went on eBay, uh, when I was looking at this, going, if, if I can find a copy of this for, like, ten bucks and the case isn't broken, um, I'd just get it. But, you see that, this is a little card that's inserted into the back here, there's a, there's another, um, you've got the, uh, the slip case, the slip cover there, um, and this is a little card that's stuck in the back there to tell you a bit about this edition of the, um, series. And uh, all the ones on eBay didn't include that, so um, yeah, I decided to get this, but for a buck, you know, I just ended up going, you know what, it's a bargain, so I'm going to grab it. Next we have Titanic's Nuclear Secrets. This one here, um, it was a little bit of a disappointment. It is still a great documentary, and there's actually two documentaries on this. Um, it's this one here, and then there's a bonus documentary there, and I've watched them both, and they are really, really good documentaries. But when I, when I first picked this out, I was just um, thinking it um, was about the Titanic. But what it's actually about is it's about the, um, the guy who actually discovered the Titanic and how, um, what led up to him discovering it. And what this is all about is how the US Defense Department basically funded his um, research, um, which was building this contraption which would go underwater and, um, you know, photograph and take details of wreckages and things like that and he his he wanted to build it to discover the Titanic but they funded it to um for him to to go down and um investigate these two nuclear submarines that went down so um that's what this is about just detailing all that and then at the very end there's a bit about him discovering the Titanic so um yeah um really good documentary just wasn't what I was expecting we have Fletch this one here, um, very funny movie, very funny, really, really enjoyed this. I'm going to keep my eye out for the Blu-ray, um, which you can get, so, um, yes, v really, really funny. He's a, like, a reporter that's investigating this dude that wants him to kill him, and super funny. If you haven't seen this one, I do recommend it. And the last thing I got from the charity store is the Steven Seagal collection. Um, I love this dude's movies, like, his early movies. His newer stuff is kind of meh but his older stuff is really, really cool. I love watching movies where you get guys like him just going around and unrealistically just kicking the crap out of everyone he comes across, and basically he's bulletproof, and he just, you know, doesn't even try, and he gets people to the ground. You know, I just, I love that level of, um, 
you know, action movie where it's just totally unrealistic that it's just so much fun to watch. But, um, yeah, he's gone a bit crazy and, um, you know, has legal troubles and now he's a Russian and all that sort of stuff. But his old movies are just so cool. I couldn't resist picking this up. And, um, it does come with an original booklet in there, which has just got a um, bit of information about each of the films in there. Um, I'll get it out and show it to you. So, um, yeah, just a bit of information about each film. So, um, yeah. I love when you find um, films like this and it comes with, you know, the original contents. It's, um, it's really thrilling. And, uh, I'm, I'm a bit amazed that this, like, all these um, sets were a dollar each. So, um, yeah, super cool. So now to the ones I got from the uh, pawn shop. Um, the first one is the first Dumber and Dumber film. Um, nine times out of ten, you find the sequel to this. Um, that Those Blu-rays are everywhere. But this is the first time I found the Blu-ray of the first film. And this is the um, extended version, the unrated version. It doesn't say that on here. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, I, I guess that's what they mean by this one here, more dumber than ever. Um, I didn't like this at all. I can tell why the original, um, theatrical release is the way it is, because this one I just am not a fan of it. Um, it makes, um, Lloyd out to be, like, an asshole, which he kind of is, but this really shows it, like, with some of the extended scenes. And, um, I did not like it, so, um, I'm likely gonna, I don't know if you can get a Blu-ray with the original, um, release on it. Uh, if not, I'm just gonna pick up a DVD copy when I come across one, just so I can have that original cut. Because this one here, I'm just not a fan of it. Next up, we have Silver Side Squad, the, uh, Blu-ray edition. Um, this has the original release and an extended version, as well as the Digibook, which, um, has, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to show this to you. I don't know if you can see all that, but, um, yeah, it's, it's full of really, really, um, nice photos and things like that. Um, this movie wasn't received very well, and I can kind of understand why, but as somebody who is not a huge fan of the DC Universe, I don't know much about all the different characters that are here, um, I didn't think it was that bad, but, you know, if, if you're a big fan, maybe you can pick up on all the bits and pieces that they got wrong or weren't quite right. Um, I mean, the film is a little bit boring, like, there are some points where I'm just like, what? You know, but, um, yeah, it wasn't a bad film, and, uh, for ten bucks, you know, I think this is a really cool digibook, so I, um, I picked this up. We have, um, X-Men Days of Future Past, the Rogue Cut, um, have not seen the Rogue Cut, apparently it doesn't change the plot or anything, it's just a, you know, a few extended scenes plus the rogue bits, which they cut out due to time constraints, constraints um, from what I've read. So, um, yeah, really nice slipcase on this one. Really cool. And um, this one actually came with digital codes. Um, remember that when, um, you know, you got digital codes in Australia with all your releases? Yeah, they, um, they don't give us any more of those. Yeah, that's to the movie studios for getting rid of that. Um, but yeah, the digital codes that came with this, um, there was two of them, one for the theatrical release and one for the, uh, rogue cut, and they both worked, so I was, I was thrilled with that. And I only paid five bucks for this too, so I was really happy. And lastly, um, I have seasons one to three of The Vampire Diaries. Uh, I got these because I, a few months back, I got, um, seasons one to five of the originals. I don't know if you can see, where is it? right there, um, seasons one to five of the originals at a charity store, um, I think they paid like a buck each for them, and, um, before I watched them, I went on to Google and was just like, what am I in for? And, um, they were like, um, people were saying, you have to watch The Vampire Diaries, because, um, apparently the originals is like a spin-off to this, so I haven't watched those yet, because I wanted to pick up these, and I finally found seasons one to three, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna get stuck into those at some point, and hopefully I can find the rest of the seasons, um, by the time I finish these ones. Here's one that I actually got from Amazon. This is the 88 um, films release of Mystery Men. So um, my Cinema Cult, um, I've already listed that on eBay, so I'll be getting rid of that and keeping this one. So um, this one's really cool. Um, this is a reversible cover. Um, the other side of it is basically that. 
but um, the slip cover is meant to be an extension of the artwork. So um, I flipped this over um, to get this cover here. And this actually does come with a really cool, really quite thick book um, with a bunch of photos and some um, information about um, the film and what went into making it and things like that. Uh, apparently the director who directed this film um, was his first feature and um, he had such a miserable time making it that um, he went back to making commercials. Um, and I think that's kind of sad because this is a really good film. I, I really enjoy watching it. So I'm, I'm, you know, it's kind of sad that the director had such a bad time making it. Uh, this is actually one that I got from the pawn shop as well. Um, this one is a lenticular, or well, 3D edition of iRobot, but it's got a lenticular slipcase on it. Um, and this one was still sealed as well, so that was pretty cool. So um, I don't have this film, which is why I bought this one. But um, this is just such a cool edition. Now to the ones I got from JB Hi-Fi. The first one is the Osploitation Classics Wind Rider. This is from Umbrella. Um, and this is number four. Um, this one here, this series here, I collect this one still because they only release one at a time, so I can kind of keep up with it without breaking the bank. So um, apparently this one, um, well actually not apparently, it stars Nicole Kidman and Tom Berling Berlington, who I don't know. But um, yeah, I haven't watched this one yet, but um, yeah, I've heard good things about it. And uh, I'll just open it up. So um, there's the inside back and uh, I love the discs in these I love the artwork and uh, we'll just take that out so uh, yeah um, I like what they're doing with these I love the effort that they put into them um, I'm the type of collector that loves the presentation I love the whole experience of getting this out looking at the artwork yeah really really awesome Next is uh, number number 10 in the Beyond Genre line, Slither. I watched this one last night. This is such an awesome film. It really is. It's like a, what is it? It's a horror, but it's like a comedy, but it's, what, um, hang on, I'm just trying to read the back of it. Horror comedy. Okay, so I was halfway there. So it is a horror comedy, and um, yeah, uh, that artwork on the front is awesome. Check that out. And there's the back of it. But um, yeah, this is James Gunn's um, film from 2006. And uh, yeah, the one, the one little nitpick I have about this is on the back here. Um, they basically show you what the creature looks like. I, I didn't like that because it was just like there was no surprises when it got to that point. So um, yeah, I think they showed a little bit too much on the back there. I mean, I know they have this, but this is just like artwork, you know, that's not the actual monster. So, um, yeah, but that's my only criticism of the packaging. So, we take it out, and we have an extension of the front cover there. And then at the back there, a really nice shot of that. And on the inside, um, not a huge fan of these discs, because they're basically just the same artwork as the front cover. And the inside artwork. Um, this kind of disappointed me, because I was expecting when I was watching this to see something like that. And I won't spoil it, but yeah, um, I was expecting this and I didn't get what I expected. So um, yeah, a really good film though, I really enjoyed this one. Especially one scene where, okay, spoiler alert, um, I'm going to talk about this. Um, there's this one scene where they're out hunting the monster, and uh, they come across him, they corner him, and try and basically negotiate with him to get, get this chick that they're looking for. And, um, this other dude goes behind him with a, like a, it looks like a 50 cal Desert Eagle, I'm not entirely sure. Um, it looked like a really big gun. But, um, yeah, he's like pointing at him going, you're not going anywhere, blah blah blah, and, um, the creature does something with his tentacle thing and splits the dude in half. It was one of those things where his, like, a line slowly appeared down the middle. You could literally see that he was still alive as he came apart. And that freaked me the fuck out. It really did. I wasn't expecting that. So really, really such good effects in this one. And um, it has a bunch of special features there, which I do advise people to watch if they get this copy. 
because there's some really cool behind the scenes stuff. Um, there's about eight minutes of bloopers. I love bloopers. Um, yeah, so some really cool additions on the back here. Finally, I'm going to show you the um, imprint titles that I got from the latest wave. Um, as I said in, in my previous video, I don't collect them all now. Um, you can probably see up there, um, that's all I've got out of the original 40 that I had. Um, I'm selling the rest, and I just pick and choose from the waves now. The, did I say waves? Um, I pick and choose from the waves now what I actually think I want, as opposed to just getting everything. I'm, I'm not actually looking forward to um, next month's wave. I think it's next month. Could be the, could be the, the end of this month, I'm not sure. Because it's all horror, so I'm going to have to be really careful not to impulse buy and actually research the movies just to make sure I actually am going to enjoy them. So the first one I picked up is The Gambler. Um, I love gambling movies, you know, Las Vegas, casino movies, all that sort of stuff. Absolutely love them. And this one does have James Kane in it. Um, he's, he's a guy I recognise by face, not by name. So, um, really good actor. And, um, yeah. I haven't watched this one yet, but I am um, keen to watch it. There's the um, front of it there. There's the back, and there's the inside. Okay, the second one that I got is James Coburn in The President's Analyst. Um, I've already watched this one. This is a weird film. It's, it's a really enjoyable film to watch, but it's really so weird. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure what to make of it, but, um, yeah, a really cool film to watch. I actually did enjoy this one. And, um, here's the inside cover. And, uh, basically what this is about is his, the president needs, like, an analyst, I guess, or a therapist, whatever you want to call him, and, um, they, they hire him, and he goes in, uh, learns all the president's deep, dark secrets, and, uh, suddenly everyone wants to kill him. And he starts thinking he's paranoid because he thinks everyone's out to get him, and a really, really weird film. But, um, yeah, I did enjoy this one. So this will definitely be staying in my collection. Because, um, yeah, I'm a James Coburn fan. Because, um, I, I was first introduced to him when I was, like, 11, when he did Snow Dogs. And, uh, yeah, really, really cool film, this one. And the last one I want to show you is... Alfie. Um, Michael Caine in this one, um, have not watched it, but, um, yeah, I'm a fan of Michael Caine. And I watched the, uh, trailers and a few clips on, uh, YouTube for this one and really enjoyed them. So, I picked up this box set. Um, wouldn't normally pick up this box set for how much it usually is, but JV Hi-Fi had a 30% off sale, so, yeah, I picked this one up because I was just like, alright, for that price, I will grab it. Um, one thing that did annoy me, and I've contacted Imprint about this just to see if I can get a replacement box, is it came with this, um, information card, um, stuck to the back with some sticky tabs, and I pulled it off to try and look at this artwork, and I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it shows up very well. Right there, and right there. Um, there's two dints in the box now, because the sticky tabs were so strong that they pulled the graphic with it. So, um, yeah, I wasn't too thrilled, but hopefully Imprint will uh, be able to give me a new box. Um, the first DVD that's, well, Blu-ray that's in there is, um, the movie itself. And... There's the inside. And it also comes with this, which is a documentary about, um, the British film icon Michael Caine narrates and stars in my generation the vivid and inspiring story of his personal journey through the pop culture explosion that was 1960s London. So, um, that's what that is. And it basically, it also comes with a second documentary there. So, um, some really good value here. Um, I'm actually, being a documentary lover, I'm actually really keen to watch this one. So, um... Yeah, let me open this one up and show you. There's a um, kind of youngish Michael Caine. I don't know how old he is there. So, that's all I've got to show you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this little video. If you did, feel free to like and comment um, and subscribe. Um, I love reading comments, so drop something down below if you like. And, um, yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I make these as entertaining as I can. Um, I just like making these videos because it gives me an opportunity to keep brushing up on my editing skills and um, 
yeah, show you what I picked up. I love sharing this with you guys. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave this video here. Until next time, ciao for now.